Hi everyone, welcome back to this session. Today I will explain you about past statement used in Python. So let's see the agenda of using or this session that is Python past statement. So we will discuss about basic concept of Python past statement and by using one example I will show you in detail how we will use it in programming. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with Python past statement. So let's understand the logic of using past statement and how we will implement it in real life programming. So past statement acts as a placeholder and usually used when there is no need of code. But a statement is itself or still required to make a code syntactically correct. So let's consider one example when we want to declare a function in our code but we want to implement that function in future which means we are not yet ready to write the body of the function. In this case we cannot leave the body of function empty as this would raise error because it is syntactically incorrect or systematically it's incorrect. In such cases we can use Python past statement which does nothing but makes the code syntactically correct for running. So let's understand the difference of between past statement versus comment. We may be wondering that a Python comment works similar to the past statement as it does nothing. So we can use comment in place of past statement. Well, it is not the case. The comment is not a placeholder and it is completely ignored by the Python interpreter. While on the other hand, pass is not ignored by interpreter, it sees the interpreter to do nothing. So if the, we want to use that pass statement instead of comment, definitely it will ask or request the interpreter to do nothing for any specific code. So let's see one example where we can use this past statement. So for declaring or using the past statement, we just have to create one loop and inside that loop we will declare the past statement which will show us the exactly how it works. So in for loop, I am going to declare here as a number and in list. So list consider this as a 30, 11, 9, 76, eighty seven and fifty five this is not this is fifty six so this is the list which I created here so in here I want if statement which will cover or perform the modest oper operation with two and show the result equal to zero now i am using here a pass because it will nothing to do else else and then again print the number print n. Let's run this and see the result how it looks. Now you can see it is printed 11, 9 and 87. So how it appears? So if the number is even, we are doing nothing. That means it will skip that. And if the number is odd, odd then we are displaying the number on our 
response same way we can do it for the function that no, that does nothing we may implement it for the future so it means if we want to define any function here and without using that function we can just pass the keyword or use the pass keyword then it will pass to the next function and program is still running without showing an error so by this way we can use the pass statement in our real life programming so let's say if i want to do the complex multiplication or complex mathematical operation like it will multiply the number then divide then several other operations are required at any point of time if i want to skip any one of the statement so i will use pass so it will work for the for the statement but for the particular function that option is passed in mathematical programming so this is all about pass statement in python let's recap this we have started with python basic or basics of pass statement then by using one example i have explained here how we will use it and by one real life example i have explained how we can implement it in real life this is all about python pass statement hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching